In this lecture, we will obtain the Fourier transform of DC value equal to A0 and we know DC values are not absolutely integrable. So first we will prove A0 is not an absolutely integrable signal and then we will obtain its Fourier transform. So let's write the condition for a signal to be absolutely integrable. Integration minus infinity to infinity mod xt dt should be less than infinity. So here we are calculating the area of signal mod xt and the area of signal mod xt should be less than infinity or finite and when this condition is satisfied we can say that signal xt is absolutely integrable and in our case signal xt is equal to a0 and mod xt is also equal to a0 because a0 is a positive value so we have integration minus infinity to infinity a0 dt a0 is a constant I will take it out so we have a0 integration minus infinity to infinity dt from here the result of integration is equal to t the lower limit is minus infinity the upper limit is plus infinity now we will put the limits of integration infinity minus minus infinity so we are having a0 infinity plus infinity or we can write a0 is multiplied to infinity so finally we are getting the result of integration as infinity this means the area under mod xt which is equal to a0 is equal to infinity therefore the condition for a signal to be absolutely integrable is violated and we can say that a0 is not an absolutely integrable signal and if you remember the first lecture of Fourier transform I told you in order to calculate the Fourier transform using the formula of Fourier transform the signal should be absolutely integrable if xt is the time domain signal and let's say its Fourier transform is x j omega or simply it is x omega then x omega is equal to integration minus infinity to infinity time domain signal xt multiplied to e power minus j omega t dt and this formula is only valid for absolutely integrable signal but here a0 is not an absolutely integrable signal this means we cannot obtain the Fourier transform for this signal using this formula so let's try to understand what goes wrong when we use this formula we will put xt equal to a0 and we will try to calculate the Fourier transform using the formula a0 is a constant so we have integration minus infinity to infinity e power minus j omega t dt we know the integration of e power minus j omega t is equal to e power minus j omega t divided by minus j omega so we have a0 e power minus j omega t the lower limit of integration is minus infinity and the upper limit is infinity divided by minus j omega so we can write a0 divided by minus j omega e power minus j infinity minus e power plus j infinity and now I will rearrange the obtained result we will have a0 divided by omega I will take this negative sign inside the bracket so we will have e power j infinity minus e power minus j infinity and this j I will write here so it is clear that we are having a0 divided by omega multiplied to 2 times sine infinity from here we will get 2 times sine infinity and we know sine infinity is not defined we don't know what will be the value of sine infinity it is undefined and as sine infinity is undefined the Fourier transform the Fourier transform x omega is also undefined so we cannot use this formula to calculate the Fourier transform of a signal which is not absolutely integrable so let's understand the process to calculate the Fourier transform of DC value A0. For this I will 
consider a time domain signal xt having the Fourier transform equal to a naught multiplied to delta omega and we know from the formula of inverse Fourier transform xt is equal to 1 over 2 pi integration minus infinity to infinity Fourier transform x omega multiplied to e power j omega t d omega. We have taken x omega equal to a naught delta omega. So in place of x omega we will write a naught delta omega. So signal xt will be equal to 1 over 2 pi integration minus infinity to infinity a naught delta omega multiplied to e power j omega t d omega a naught is a constant so I will take it out of integration so we have a naught over 2 pi integration minus infinity to infinity delta omega I will write delta omega as delta omega minus 0 this will not change anything multiplied to e power j omega t d omega I have written delta omega as delta omega minus 0 because we will use one very important property of impulse signal whenever any signal is multiplied to impulse signal then this value here is substituted in the variable of the signal so we will have signal xt equal to a naught over 2 pi integration minus infinity to infinity delta omega when you put 0 here you will have e power 0 this means 1 and 1 multiplied to delta omega will give us delta omega so finally we have a naught over 2 pi integration minus infinity to infinity delta omega d omega and we know the integration of impulse signal from minus infinity to infinity will give us 1 because 1 is the area or strength of the impulse signal. So we can say that the time domain signal xt is equal to a naught over 2 pi. So a naught over 2 pi is the time domain signal and it is having the Fourier transform equal to a naught delta omega xt is having the Fourier transform a naught delta omega so a naught over 2 pi which is xt is having the Fourier transform a naught delta omega and now we will use the property known as linearity property we know if we multiply something to the time domain signal the same thing is multiplied to its Fourier transform so I will multiply 2 pi to the time domain signal so we have a naught 2 pi and 2 pi will cancel out and from the linearity property we will multiply 2 pi to the Fourier transform as well so finally we will have 2 pi a naught delta omega and you can see we were trying to obtain the Fourier transform of signal a naught and here we are having the Fourier transform of signal a naught which is equal to 2 pi a naught delta omega so this is the Fourier transform of DC value A0. For example, if you have DC value equal to 4, then it will have the Fourier transform 2 pi multiplied to 4 multiplied to delta omega, which is equal to 8 pi delta omega. So this is all for this lecture. Remember the Fourier transform of DC value A0. It is equal to 2 pi A0 delta omega.